Hi everyone, Sarah here, just sharing a project I created for the Not Too Shabby Shop. Here's the information. I'll have all the links down below in the information box. Don't forget to log in when you're making a purchase to um, your account and you can collect points, reward points, to go towards uh, $5 off coupons for the shop. And then in the US, any orders over $60 ship for free. Uh, easy. This card I used with my stamp set that was sent to me for my July DT, which is Flamingo Together from Lawn Fawn. A uh, very simple card using just the Lawn Fawn stamp set and the stitched rectangles from Lawn Fawn. Um, I now have stored my small and my large together, so this is the two sets. And for this card I used, it would be the largest one from the large set, and then I skipped one. So these would both be from the large set. The two biggest ones from the large set is what I used to create my card. Okay. I did uh, masking and coloring with Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens and Distress Markers. And I do have the process for the masking and the coloring for my card. So here it is, very cute, very simple. I masked off all the flamingos to get the two in the front that are my focus, boy and girl. And then I used the sentiment, we flamingo together. Um, so all of this coloring is with um, the clean color real brush pens and also distress markers. And you'll see the colors that I used in my process video. And then for the stamping, I used um, Pink Passion from Stamping Up. Again, these are old Stamping Up um, ink pads that I've had forever. Um, I did, so I stamped the Flamingo first and then I stamped the Wii together with black um, ink. And then the little heart is from the same set, this little heart here. And after I had stamped it with the Stamping Up ink, I just took my water brush to fill in the color with the ink because it's water-based ink, so you can do that. And then I just added some clear AB sequins to in two different sizes, and they're from Cartwright sequins. So to get this look on the card, um, what I did was I did all my masking and stamping and coloring, and then I took my two dies and laid them out so that they were nice and um, centered. And I just used some tape to hold them in place and ran them through the die cutting machine. And then I glued the outside border flat down on my card and I popped up the inside with just very, with some thin um, foam tape. So my inside panel is popped up and it's all on this hot pink card base. So you see just a little bit of pink when you're looking around the edges just to um, pop in some color. So it's super cute. I love how it turned out. Love this stamp set. It's so much fun. I've not done anything to the inside. <laughs> it's just the way I roll. All right, so that is my card for this week. Please stay tuned for the process and all the colors that I used. Um, don't forget to visit the shop. Jamie does have pre-order for the new Lawn Fawn release that is coming, and it is so awesome. You do not want to miss out. All right, bye-bye. Okay, so I have a piece of Bristol paper, um, just cut down to five and a half by four and a quarter. And I, I've already pre-cut some masks of my flamingo stamps, just their bodies, I don't need the legs. So I'm going to start with the girl stamp. So I just have my acrylic block here with my stamp on it. And what I wanna do is stamp the one that's gonna be on top. So this is my focus image. So there she is right there. So then I want to take one of the masks and cover her up. There go, place it as well as you can on top of that image. Then I'm gonna get inked up again and stamp another one right there. And I'm gonna cover this one up. And 
if I can get my mask off. <laughs> and then cover it up again. Oh, that one's not good enough. Yeah, that should be good. And then I'm going to stamp my final one. Right there. Clean off my stamp. And then we're going to get the boy stamp here. So for this one, I'm going to stamp one guy there. Body up there a little bit higher. Mask that one off. And then one more. put him up here it's because I don't want to go too far out to the side because this is going to be cut down smaller. All right, so I'll just wipe off my stamp here and then I'm going to grab my tweezers. I'm going to start over here and pull off my mask and hang on to your mask so that you can use them over again. And then over here. There we go, my little flock of flamingos ready to color up. Okay, so my intention with these is to color them monochromatic and then have the two flamingos that are meant to be together um, in a brighter pink color. So I have a couple different, I have my Spun Sugar Distress Marker and then I have the Zig Clean Color Real Brush. Um, this is number 025 pink. This is just from the, um, the set of 12. So I'm going to see how that goes. I want to do all of them in the sponge sugar just to get a base. And again, this is Bristol paper. Um, I tried it out the other day with the mermaid that I colored. And I really liked the way the distress markers worked on it. So let me zoom in on these guys. Sorry about the shakiness. So I'm just putting it on the paper and smoothing it out. And I do have my um, laminated paper if I want to use a palette here. So again, these guys are just going to be very um, plain. And then the two that are my focus are going to be the brighter ones. doesn't move as much as it does on the mixed media paper, but um, it still moves pretty good. You just definitely have to do it in sections while your ink is wet. And some colors work a little bit better than others. Like obviously this is a very light color, so you're not going to see much color movement with it. Okay. 
Now I am going to do this one too just as a base because the um, zig marker will add a, a much brighter color to it. Okay, so I'm going to move these guys over. here Ugh. so hot today that I'm kind of sticking to everything Okay, so there's the base. Bring it up here so you guys can see. And then we'll focus on the girls right now because I believe they're dry. Um, for their beaks. Spice the marmalade. See that one, you can tell the color spreading a little bit more just because it's a darker color. Okay, so then my zig. And I'm just going to do a small section at a time. Now bring this guy in here.
Okay, now the feathers. These guys, I was gonna give them black beaks. And then I want to make it look like they're standing in water. So I'm going to get some tumble glass. Mm. It's salty ocean. And this is where I'm going to use my palette because I want to have more control and just be um, a light color, so I'm going to add more water to it. And the salty ocean. All right, so that's it for now.